Hello, hello, Fed Phoenix fam. So, I wanted to talk to y'all for a minute. We are up to 229 subscribers, right? And I'm so excited. Like, I know you have to get to 1,000 before YouTube really considers it that you've, you know, made any real step towards getting monetized. But every single time we get a new subscriber, and God knows I check it several times a day, it always brings me joy because for me, I'm like each one of these subscribers is a person and a person who not only is finding some value in my content, which makes me feel great about doing this, but a person who, who finds such a, a, a significant amount of value in my content that they want to continue to, to be informed when there's more. And that that's very humbling to me. Very, very humbling. Um, and I'm very, very grateful. Additionally, um, so y'all know I do, uh, I, I call it inmate support specialist because I refuse to attach the label prison consultant to anything I do because there's some, a lot of shady stuff that goes on, not with all of them, but with a lot of those people. And I just don't want to be associated, but so I'm in a lot of social media groups. Um, and I help people figure things out, navigate things and, Frequently, people, people will DM me, you know what I mean? And I, I help those people do calculations for themselves, for their loved ones, um, you know, kind of talk them through a lot of what to expect, whether because they're on their way to federal prison or because they have a loved one on their way or a loved one coming home. Um, and, you know, one of one of my, my people, one of my Fed Phoenix clients is what I call them, but um, his wife's getting out of prison very, very soon. And of course, he had a lot of questions about that whole process. And I was so excited for him and for her and to be a part of their journey. Um, but today, and sometimes, and I say that to say, sometimes these people who mostly find me through social media and come to me for insight and advice and that kind of thing, um, occasionally they tip me. Occasionally they'll send me, you know, usually Cash App. I think once or twice someone's used my PayPal to, to do that. And, you know... And it's always very humbling for me. And I think most of them only know that that's even a thing because, you know, I always direct people to my YouTube channel because I'm like, you know, this is definitely where you need to go if you want to, you know, catch up on things, you know, or educate yourself, you know, the best that you can, you know, the circumstances about what to expect as far as, you know, federal prison, particularly a camp and this whole process, or if you need to learn about FSAs and how to calculate them or RDAP and do, do you or your loved one qualify? You know, this is really a good kind of one-stop shop for all that information and is absolutely free. And of course, my channels mentioned, hey, if you want to, you know, tip the channel, my cash app and PayPal are in the description, which they are. Well, something really exciting happened today for me. So shortly ago, I got a cash app. And, you know, and it was, it was, it was, not a life changing, you know, no one was like, oh, here's 200,000, here's, here's a thousand, here's 500 or a hundred or any, any crazy amount of money. And it's not about the amount. The amount is, is far less significant to me than the fact that, you know, my last video I had mentioned, you know, that I'm, I'm a person who doesn't wear my struggles on my sleeve. You know what I mean? I, I'm a person who is very committed to doing what I can to help not only, you know, my community, I help a lot of people find resources, but also to assist people in their, their federal journey. But, um, but a guy sent me a cash app and I'm 99.9% .9 sure that he's not one of the people that, that I'm working with currently helping them with their, you know, their situation. Um, and so it had to have come from YouTube is what I'm thinking, you know, from, he got my information on YouTube. And in my last video, I had mentioned, you know, that I'm kind of going through a, a difficult financial patch. I actually have a situation right now that is, is a bit overwhelming. Um, and I, I have to think that he's seen that and he thought, you know, I got it. She needs it. I'm going to send it to her. And I just am so grateful, like incredibly grateful, incredibly humbled, um, and in the almost year that I've been home from prison and doing this channel, this is the first time that anyone has, has tipped me anything or sent anything, you know, um, you know, through, through the YouTube. Um, and so I'm not going to say the exact amount or the person because, you know, or, you know, whatever, cause that's, that's nobody's business. You know what I mean? And I don't want to put more importantly, I don't want to put that person's business out in the street. I will say the person's first name is Mark and I'll leave it at that. But Mark, if you see this, 
thank you so much. Truly, from the bottom of my heart. Like, I almost got a little emotional. You know what I mean? Because y'all know I'm a crybaby. Um, because I'm just truly, I'm truly humbled and grateful. So, anyhow, I just want to take a moment and express some gratitude to, to my subscribers. You know, my viewers. If you're a viewer and you haven't committed to subscribing yet, that's okay. But if you choose to, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And, um, you know, I'm just, I, I just get so overwhelmed sometimes, um, with all the positive, you know, all the good that's happening in my life in spite of my struggles and, and all the good that I'm able to give to people, you know, before my door got kicked in, I subsequently went to prison. I was always like the resource lady, you know what I mean? Unofficially online with, with a lot of people and a lot of groups. And so, you know, that's just something I did cause I enjoy it. I was a member of my local Elks club. Because I felt that it was a, a, a good organization that does a lot of good and I want to be part of that. And now that I'm home from prison, I can never be an elk again because I'm a felon. But, um, you know, I still do the resource thing for my, my community. And they don't even know that I do this. I don't think, I think almost probably none of them actually know that I even do this in addition to that. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm just a nurturer by nature. Like I, I you know, help my mother a lot because it's what I need to do, what I should do. It's the right thing. And, you know, a few other people that I won't mention, but it's just really, really nice. Really nice. When somebody, even if it's a total stranger, shows you gratitude or care or support because I have not had an easy life. Not at all. And I have, it's been taught to me since birth nearly that gratitude and kindness are not things that I'm owed. And they're not things that I can generally expect for most people. And that's okay. That's okay. So when I get these things, I'm always incredibly humbled and grateful. So again, y'all know I'm a crybaby. I, I'm going to see somebody about some mood stabilizers because I really think like my brain chemistry is just out of whack or something. I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to let y'all know that, um, again, if you've not subscribed and you're, you're willing to, I would so much appreciate it. Cash out pay power in the description. If you would like to donate to the channel, which at this point is helping me kind of get through things, um, you know, or would help me get through some things. Um, my email is in the description. If you would like to contact me, there's a link to the merch line. If you'd like to get you a fed Phoenix t-shirt or coffee cup, and, uh, you know, as always, good day, God bless, and whatever you are going through in your life, remember it is a slice of your life. It is temporary, and you will get through it because you have to. So with that, good day, God bless, and thank you all, all of you, viewers, subscribers, Mark, everybody. Thank you so much.